Welcome back to Let's Play Every Game of the Racial Justice and Equality Bundle. Uh, as always, we're going to be giving each game about five minutes. Uh, you can find information about all these games in the description below this video, as well as the charity support. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell, and follow me at twitch.tv slash onion underscore siege to see this stuff live every weeknight at 9 p.m. Eastern. We're getting started with Circa Infinity. Ah. Uh. It's almost reminiscent in a design way as well as how they present the music to Super Hexagon. Whoa! What is... what the fuck is happening? I'm really intimidated, I'm not gonna lie. I have to go through the wedge, I see. Oh, it's Satan. What does the Satan represent? What do you mean, say, oh, mobile Satans? Can I jump over the mobile Satan? Yes, I can. Oh, she's got mad skills. Like, she's doing just nothing but aerials. That's right, no deaths. I'm just too good at these games. I'm safe from the devil as soon as I leave that circle. Ah! It is difficult to be certain to keep track of what your position is relative to which key you should be pushing. Just like that. As if to prove my point. Blah! I knew that was going to happen. I knew it. I'd had it too good for too long. No! No! No, please. Yeah! Man, that's great. What a, what a compelling game from such a simple mechanical hook. Of a Circa Infinity. This is Anwin. We grant unto the skull a horrible power, and then the skull uses it to grow a tree and another skull. I cannot move. Movement is for the living. Give me your power. Am I some sort of horror monster? Is that who I need to... If the Watcher sees me, it will start to drain my energy. Aim to the floor tiles. So if I grow a tree... Yeah! Cool, cool. <laughs> then I get my resources back. Oh, this watcher is now seeking me. That's super bad. All hail the watcher. Well, it's not actually that terrible. The watcher's not moving with any sort of alacrity. He's, yeah, he's kind of keeping the same sort of pace. I see, so it's like a dodge -em game. And do I need to get a skull going that's as tall as that guy? Is that what you're telling me? Let's put a safety skull over here. Okay. Now I've got a means to escape if needed. It is strangely quite nerve-wracking. 
Although it does use the same standard stock horror effect, which I think is funny. No, you ass bag! Don't do that! Oh, that's super bad. That'll keep the watcher distracted for a time, I suppose. Kind of annoying that he's doing it, though. Oh, I don't have truly limited resources. There are trees that are starting to grow back. So I don't have to worry about completely losing the ability to do anything. And in fact, kind of having a, a really large skull just sitting there would serve as a really great way to have interference. Does this just need to be as tall as the Watcher? Oh no, like this, I see. I just needed to absorb the Watcher. Yeah, good job. Go me. Great. I, uh, I'm ascending unto heaven. This is fantastic! That was Anne Wynn. This is Chipmunk! Exclamation point. Oh, is this a uh, one of them? Yeah, it looks like one of the multiplayer games. I at least see what it looks like. It looks like Golden Axe. It is, in fact, Golden Axe. Cool. Yes! Give me memories of when I used to play Golden Axe, I think, 2 on the Genesis. Oh, sweet. I, I don't have to play with two people. Great. That would be a squirrel. It was a grapple maneuver, it looked like. Want a little charge? Eh. Just for closing the distance? That's great. Yes! I'm Chris! So it serves as kind of a dodge roll, I see. A very, very, very low distance dodge roll, but a dodge roll nonetheless. Oh, it's like the little gnome! I remember. This is great. Our game should be like Gold Max. Huh! Jump into low fears. Go crazy. Don't you fish for backstabs on me. Who knew what I really wanted was a golden axe having a baby with a red wall. Both of these things are really good. Ha! Pow, pow, pow. Oh! I, I see. I see. Good counter argument. Spears are for noobs. Learn how to dodge roll. You guys are wimps. This is my special power. It's a it's a whale. Damn, that really fucks dudes up. You thought. Ugh. I love I'm Chris. What a great combo winner. I don't know if I have much control over when I'm I'm Chris. But it feels really good when it happens. And the audio design is so good. Did you hear the little funk noises when they fall over? Bonk. And stay down if you know what's good for you. Oh, normally the little goblin dude shows up in uh, when you go into campfires and things like that. Says the squirrel with no health. Because I am the most powerful being alive. These guys look like pangolins. I, I 
guess they're supposed to be porcupines. Hooah! You seek to do battle? Well, before we start, here, let me do this. Let me introduce you to my friend, a, a whale. Oh my god, that only did half health. That is so intimidating. Although, on the other hand, I only have to hit them 12 times without dying. Whoa! Good counter. They're like a grapple build. Or they could just hit me with a mace. Ha! That is not safe for me to jump into. Oh, yeah! We did it. Where'd the whales come from? That's my magic? That's my chipmunk magic? Maybe you heard about it? This is Broken Minds. Sunday. The usual time for my parents to come visit me in my new apartment. I don't dislike my parents, but let's not get into it. They mean well. Five by seven. They were usually sharp on the dot. Sharp is a good word to describe them in general. Is that me? Where could they be? My hair is amazing. Oh, that must be them. I should go answer it. This looks like a 3... Yeah, this looks like a 3D model. Maybe it's a... Maybe it's an actual photo that got touched up. Is this where the horror is? Welcome to my home! These are my parents. Yo, that dress though. You don't have to keep saying that. But we'd be welcome. Is that what you want to say to all your friends? Right, you don't have any. You know, maybe if you socialize a little, you would. Just saying. Quiet now, you're so harsh. Let me make her cry. Just like always. It's okay to cry. Just do it in a tea kettle so you can offer something to drink. Are, th are these guys just escapees from mementos? What is happening? They're just laying out what their... Their horrible motivations from from the block. We're both pretty thirsty. Hiroki ate some snow while we were walking up to the house. Why? Isn't that funny? No. Also, we're going to have to stay the night because our car isn't working. What? I put some tea on. We'll go sit down. Fuck you! Give me a hard time because naturally my parents, who are assholes, I endured though because standing up for myself always ended badly for me. I like to pretend I'm rebellious. When my parents are around, that attitude crumbles. How about some music? Uh, would you say I'm a little deaf, you know? I didn't hear you either, Noah. You really should speak up. You're always so quiet and sir. Servile? Servile? Servile. I struggled not to take a comment personally, which is difficult because she directed it at me like some sort of cold bitch. Because it was very personal. Yeah, it cuts like a knife. These are words that kill. I said music, you assholes. Do you want to hear some? Couldn't hurt to hear your kids are into these days. Sir, Servile? Servile. I'm going to make a pizza with some testosterone. I was playing P5 the other night, and I finally maxed out I think it was my charm it was either uh, it was either charm or um, knowledge and I got the the final one on there and I turned to my roommate and it was like that's right looks like I'm erudite and he goes erudite no you remember I used to tell her that independent crap you all okay I hate these guys if you want to play this game you can but this is this sucks and I don't like either of these characters I know that sounds super dismissive and I apologize to the developer of this game, but I can't stand the annoying parents trope when it's done like this, and it's making me have a visceral and physical reaction. So, if you want to do this, go play Broken Minds for yourself, but I'm done. Have you ever shared a star fruit with a bejeweled songbird? What the fuck? The elders say our ancestors shared every meal with birds of every color. Now we share our meals with flies and weevils. When we this can is have above meals. the fallen. Generations ago, the tree folk lived on the mighty branches. We look at this really smooth drift bridges, motherfucker. To narrate. Nothing but a blanket of emerald leaves between us and the spark. Hey, yo, guy, when's your shit drop on Audible? The food was plenty, and worries were small. Life was happy until the Night King was awakened. It was he that drove the tree folk from the trees. The king of darkness Making them just thrust the our ancestors into the dirt. For countless decades now, we the bouncer looks push, adorable, fuck you. Shove and fight for a life on the ground. Food is scarce, and 
our predators. Well, I'm going to have to go check the potato bushes. The elders say the city of our ancestors is still there in the trees, waiting for the day that we can return. They prophesized that two I like this no shirt, yes sleeve situation going on here. Soon to really, really shows off all the core exercises the these guys have been doing. King. Can you climb those ancient trees? Can you reclaim our lost city? Will you rise above? I didn't realize it was above Colon the Fallen. That changes the context of the name. Solo, of course. Am I playing as both of these characters? Oh, look at that. So I am. It holds some serious powers to allow you to unlock new skills. <laughs> Marching away. Look at these two heroes. This is going to be juggernauts all over again. I can feel it. Uh, it only works if we're perfectly in sync with one another. <laughs> I like this, but I wonder what the amulet does. Hold the triggers to push or pull lock. Oh, together! Huh. Huh. This is quite clever. Nice dodge rolls. Off the block with the horrible skeleton situation. Uh, mail? What's going on, guy? There have to be puzzles that involve having these two split up, right? Otherwise, what would be the justification for having a control scheme like this? Nice! That's how his chest got so huge. He's just been doing this all day. There we are. That's just a checkpoint. I thought it was something to be scared of. Turns out, really didn't need to be. I got a box. Hold the trigger to charge a with the thumbstick. Release to throw. Ah, ah, ha, 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 ha. It's a two-step pro. Well, I've fully fluffed it. That's the icon of their god, Gains. Eh. Okay. Actually, I didn't notice before, but these two have mad ups. That's wild, man. We just campfire the characters will rest for the night. Just a shitload of platforming. I can take a nap. No! This is what happens when we're not perfectly in sync with one another. As every relationship should be. You should have a Evangelion style perfect synchro rate with your partner, or else your marriage will never last. Don't listen to me, I don't know a goddamn thing about marriage. I've never even seen a marriage. Rumors say that they exist though. There's no real penalty for one person going rogue and running off in the other direction. Which is good for a game that implies cooperation. Oh no. Is there no alley-oop system? You think that there would be a way for one character to throw the other character. 
Maybe that's just a skill I haven't unlocked yet. You can tell exactly how much difficulty I have at multitasking. They're just holding the rock, that's great. That's pretty cool. That was above the fallen. This is a day in the woods. Looks like a uh, Little Red Riding Hood allegory. Click on a tile to have the sprite swap places with it. Oh, the frame rate is low. I wonder what that is. Ah, help Little Red Riding Hood get to Granny's Cottage. Whoa. Huh? That's wild. Have you forgotten, dear? Your granny has moved deeper in the woods. Fuck! It's a fucking puzzle game. Huh? Tell us of red borders like rocks, trees, and bushes can be. Yeah, I kind of figured that. It's huh? nothing but a sliding tiles puzzle. Sometimes you'll need to take a long way around obstacles. Yeah. I know how tile puzzles work. Never mind. It looks bad. I'm gonna scruff my pet rock on your way over here. <laughs> Fantastic. They are flowers that cannot be moved. Click all the flowers. Oh, I have to collect the flowers. Oh. Oh, just being on a tile adjacent to them works. Cool. That's the Still haven't quite nailed down where Granny's supposed to be. You can collect it without getting berries if you're a wimp. Fuck. Just like I said, I wasn't supposed to. It was a day in the woods, and that was the last game in this episode of Let's Play Every Game of the Racial Justice and Equality Bundle. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, uh, please remember to uh, follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash noon underscore siege. Don't uh, subscribe, hit that bell, drop me a like and a comment. If you enjoyed this, you can find information about the charity support and all the games that we played in the description below this video. You can find me on social media at the CG Android, Twitter, and Mastodon, Facebook.com slash S15 Studios, S 15 studiositchio to find all of my tabletop games, including, yes, Exodus, which is very much like Chipmunk, uh, but with less combat. Uh, and finally, you can find everything else that I make, including articles and short stories, just in the interview with the Poto 5 about Roman's Christmas, and Home Remedy, which is a short story about a bad headache, at S 15 Studios, S Once more, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.